this is off the bottom this is coming at you again with another real quick video review I just got these guys yesterday and I'm, I'm really ex I'm really excited to bring these to you guys <laughs> they are the new universe legend figures and I'm, I'm gonna do these all individually oops and I'm dropping them all over the place um, mostly because I've never done these characters for the most part I have um, here's Beachcomber I also have Bumblebee, I also have Brawn, and I also got this piece of sh Starscream, which, that thing's gay. I hate that thing. It's $3. I might actually end up shattering the thing. But here's Beachcomber. Now, I'm doing Beachcomber because I don't have a G1 Beachcomber, and I'm probably never going to get one, just because I don't really feel like getting them when this guy is, to me, a little bit better. Of a figure I really enjoy this little guy now Beachcomber himself is mu very much the pacifist he's a peacekeeper he does not like war or anything of that nature in fact one of his most legendary episodes was in the Golden Lagoon where there's a Golden Lagoon that's discovered and it coats the Autobots and Decepticons makes them invincible all that fantastic stuff and through the battle, through a battle between the Autobots and the Decepticons where they're trying to get control over this, the Autobots win, and I'm not sure if it's Cliffjumper or somebody else who goes to Beachcomber and says, you know, well, hey, this is good news, we won! And Beachcomber looks across the blue, or the Golden Lagoon, and it's completely destroyed, and there's bomb blasts and craters everywhere, and he looks and he's like, yeah, we won. And it was just a very nice episode. I really, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a fantastic job, story-wise. And this character, he doesn't, he, his last appearance is, I believe, the Five Faces of Darkness in Season 3, Episode 5. That's his last, that's the last time that we see this guy. And it's rather unfortunate. He was a fun little character. Now, in terms of size, I, I don't do this very often. Now, see, the wheels also, see his... Kind of got it. There we go. Um, well, you can obviously, he's very reminiscent to his G1 self. He's a dune buggy esque type of vehicle. Blue with yellow. This little gun contraption actually comes off. You can kind of put this any number of ways that you want. Have him shooting backwards or forwards. I find it ironic that a pacifist would come with a gun. Yet, Brawn doesn't come with a gun. Eh, eh, that's odd to me. Now, I don't do size comparisons very much, but the only other G1 mini bot that I have is Cosmos. And as you can see, vehicle mode, they're, they're pretty good scale. They're, they fit fairly well. This is, like I said, the only G1 mini bot that I have. So I'm going to be using this guy for a size comparison quite often. Now, to go ahead and transform them, it's very simple. What you need to do is first come around here to the side lift separate the arms and they will lift up just like so take these front sections flip them around separate the legs these little blue guys they go back underneath here oh you can't see black guys I'm sorry black guys who I'm racist and then keep the arms up like so and then take the torso and slide it down and there you have Beachcomber in his robot mode really nice figure even even in this little guy let me show you <laughs> with Cosmos real quick unfortunately though he they are much bigger all of them are considerably bigger and, and I'll, I'll show you that when I do those other reviews except for this piece of shit. Hate him. Did I break him? Oh, no, I'm not, not so lucky. So considerably smaller than the new universe figures. But in terms of the articulation, vastly improved than the originals. The head doesn't do anything. The arms will rotate 360 degrees. They're on a ball joint, so they also can move in and out. And do, 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 do. Pretty good. Back and forth at the legs and they also bend at the knee as part of the transformation so you can get some fairly decent poses uh, I'm gonna say that and not really get him in any well he's just kinda squatting there 
But it's actually very articulated for a G1, or for, a, a, I don't want to say a G1 figure, but for an imitation of a G1 figure, it's pretty good. Good detail, let me kind of zoom in here because he's pretty tiny. Nice Autobot symbol, very, very G1-esque face. And I said G1-esque, somebody hates when I say that. But overall, really nice detail. You can even see on the inside, he's got hands, kind of, and then all his gun fell off. So overall, this is a really nice figure. I really do like this. I, I recommend all of these, to be honest with you, with the exception of ass pipe. Fall off! There. Oh, he fell by my light. He might melt. That would be bad. I don't want to melt him. Well, maybe. That would actually be kind of interesting. I wonder what happens if I put him in um, a microwave. What would happen? <laughs> but overall, Beachcomber. Gorgeous figure. Highly recommend picking this guy up. Now, to transform him back, again, all you do is lift the torso. Come around here to the little feet piece. Fold these out until they, they kind of click into place right there bring them together they peg together rotate them up and around very very much like the original transformations of these guys it's very similar make sure that's nice and flush like so bring the arms down slide the arms down and there you have them and I don't have his gun in because that came flying off but like I said, he comes with a gun, which I think is just kind of stupid. Nice wheels. The wheels roll fairly well. You kind of have to fiddle a little bit to get all four wheels on the ground. But I really like this guy. If you guys see him in the stores, I recommend picking him up highly. Uh, there's not too much robot kibble down there. I mean, you can kind of see. But this is a gorgeous figure. So until next time, guys, this is Optobotomus with Beachcomber. Thanks for tuning in. I will talk to you later. Hey!